Hi there YouTube, in today's tutorial we're gonna see how we can make a Bento grid on Webflow using the Webflow CMS. We're gonna build this grid using the Lumos framework. Now I've recently started learning the Lumos framework and it's pretty good on grids. So that's why we'll be using it today. We're gonna make a nice Bento grid that is powered by the CMS. So we're gonna see how we can manipulate the first, second and the even items. And we finally gonna make a nice clonable that you guys can clone and use it for your own purposes. Without further ado, let's get to it. Just don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like this video and stay tuned on more videos that are coming from this channel let's get to it okay so let's build this bento grid now as i mentioned before i'm using the lumos framework you can find this on the webflow clonable page uh, you can download the latest framework version i think this is version 2.1 and then you can follow along with this video now i like this framework because it's using a lot of the new webflow features which are uh, very powerful and that helps make a better design or a better website for example the data theme option that allows you to make dark and light mode. Uh, it helps with customizing this across different elements. Really cool, really in-depth framework here. Uh, you can change a lot of things from the variables. Now we're gonna use most of the default stuff because in today's tutorial, we're just gonna focus on the Bento grid, but this is for you to learn. So let's start. I also like this um, grid guide. So I'm gonna be using this grid guide to help me design things better. Let's start by adding a section. So the Lumos framework also gives you these starter sections. So you have this um, component that is a starter section. Basically, if you unlink it, you see it's a section and it has a container inside it. Let's add a div block here. Let's call this hero header wrap. And then we'll add a heading inside. We'll call this bento grid layout. All right, so this is there. Now to continue, we're gonna add another section. Now they also give you uh, some sections that, let, for example, this one layout split, which I really likes because it is basically two, two columns of layout. It's an image, text, very basic stuff. So let's use this one. Let's unlink it first and then we're gonna customize things here let's see how this is done now i don't need this image but as well this is something that is provided in the lumos framework it's this visual component that you can customize you can make it into a video you can make it into image and so on now i won't be needing this so i will be deleting the visual wrap and delete the whole thing uh this is i believe for the background visual i don't need that either and we're gonna start customizing these two uh, columns. So as you can see, layout split list has a grid custom and it has a grid of two, so two columns. And we're just gonna leave it at that. We're gonna customize what's inside, basically. Uh, now let's remove these combo classes. We're gonna use layout split left and we're gonna call this Spento and we're gonna give it a custom property of grid column. We're gonna say this is gonna start at the first column and it's gonna span four columns. And on the grid, on the layout split right, I'm also gonna take this combo class. I'm just gonna add my own Spento and I'm gonna call this grid or I give it the custom property of a grid column and this one will start at six and it will span seven one more thing we might remove this gap large so as you can see here now we have everything within the right columns or following the right span of columns so you can see here this is four and this is starting from six it's spanning seven all right so let's continue now in this as well i want to remove some stuff so perhaps i'll remove this button now this is the default lumos colors we're gonna stick to that for now we we'll might change it later and uh, let's bring this inside and remove this text so we have this eyebrow heading button this is fine for now now let's start with making our collection or our bento grid first we're gonna add a collection list inside layout split right so we're gonna add this collection list here we're gonna pull from our cms collection called projects now i set up this collection before this tutorial it basically consists of some automatic or auto generated uh, blog content as you can see here uh it's just some norm epsom and some images now we're gonna adjust this collection. We're first gonna give a class to our bento grid list. And uh, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna create a utility class called uh, full fill, uh, full fill size. 
and this will be basically a width of 100% and a height of 100% just to fill everything. And then we're gonna give this combo class to this list. So fill, full fill size. And then here we're gonna give pentagrid item. So we're gonna name it pentagrid item. We're also gonna give it full fill size just so that it stretches across the, the grid. We're gonna add our content inside the item. Now I'm gonna add a div block. I'm gonna name this Bento Grid Image Wrap. Now, by the way, I'm, I'm using this uh, technique. So basically, if you have the Loomis uh, extension, you can just press on the right arrow and it gives you the name of the next parent element or the next parent folder in this case. Next, we're gonna add one of those global visuals that are uh, provided in the Loomis framework. So I'm gonna add one of these and uh, I'm just gonna make sure that my Bento grid um, image wrap is set to relative. And I'm also gonna give it the full fill size. And we're gonna pull this from the main project image. Great, now we have our list. You can see it's just like all over the place, but we're gonna adjust it now. Okay, so first we're gonna select the Bento grid list. We're gonna give it a combo class of grid custom or utility class of grid custom. And this is a class that's provided within the framework. Uh, you can check it out in the style guide. Uh, this class gives me this um, custom properties that are set up for a grid, for a good grid. And I'm just gonna uh, adjust this. So we have grid template columns, repeat one, min max zero to one uh, frame rate. And we're just gonna adjust this to be repeating seven times because I have seven columns here and I wanna use those to build my grid. Now we're gonna go to the Bento grid item and we're gonna give it um, a custom property of grid uh, column. Uh, we're gonna say that this will span perhaps span two. So all of them span two now. Uh, now I wanna adjust the first item and the last item only. And basically I wanna follow uh, a structure that is similar to a Bento grid. So I'm gonna select the Bento grid item and I'm gonna go to the drop down. And as you can see here, we have structure and I, I can choose the first item of the CMS. By choosing that, I'm gonna change this grid column uh, property to say, okay, we're gonna start the first column and then we're gonna span uh, perhaps four. Yeah or five, perfect. So we start the first column, we span five, this is the first item. Now we're gonna do something else to the last item and that last item I wanted to span also five in columns but I wanted to go two rows. So I'm gonna say this also starts at one, this also spans five, but this has another grid row, another custom property and this will say it's gonna start at the second row and it's gonna span two rows. So as you can see here, now I have this structure. I have the first item, the last item, and these are the other items on the list. Uh, we can adjust, perhaps give this some radius. So uh, we can use the radius small and um, make this overflow hidden. So it looks a bit neat. And that's basically it. That's how you create your Bento grid. Now you can adjust this even further. Let's say you want to give it a min height of 500 pixels. So that's always looking um, like taller because if it's like that maybe it looks short when the screen is wide uh, of course there are many ways to to adjust this even further so maybe 600 and this looks better now I'll leave this project as a clonable so you guys can go in and test it out. Furthermore to this, we can always adjust, let's say the even and odd items to adjust this further. Um, if you have more items, if you wanna showcase different uh, structure of Bento, uh, you can always um, adjust this from here. Thank you for watching the video. I really hope I taught you something today. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you stay tuned on the new videos that are coming up. See you in the next one.